Speaking of bowling, Rich Edwards to get us off and underway. Bowling to Clayton Floyd. And a wild swipe from Floyd. Swung away by Floyd. He hasn't got all of this, but he has got enough of it. First boundary of the day and first boundary for the Netherlands 11. Goes down the ground this time. Overpitched from Edwards. Lovely shot from Floyd. Consecutive boundaries. Skied up from Musa Ahmed. Tough chance. Oh, and nobody's ended up going for it. Short and over the keeper's head. Four runs. Very lucky for Musa Ahmed. Short and a nice shot from Floyd. And Floyd has absolutely smashed that, but he's got underneath it. And he has got enough of it. It's sort of a scoop shot for six almost. And Floyd's his time this and out. Bouncer away by Lubbers and over the head of Akhtar for six. It's a good positive shot from Lubbers taking on the short ball. Was a top edge. If you're going to swing, swing hard. And the man who I said can get this innings going, it's a six from his second ball. Shot. What a shot that is from Musa Ahmed. Wow. Take that, Zaman Akhtar. That's a really good shot. I mean, the thing is, they're trying to starve the batsmen of these kind of dry... Slow ball, brilliant from Akhtar. What a response. Cleans up Musa Ahmed. That is a classy piece of bowling. Total deception. And the oh so dangerous Musa Ahmed has to go 41 for two. Short, and he's got hold of this one. That's a huge six from Lubbers. What a shot. That's gone a long, long way over the rope. Just full, but doesn't quite get the York up. And this is something that Lovers can throw his hands at. Gets it into the gap and he gets four. Just like that. And it's six for Lovers. Lovers goes in that region once more. And it just can't quite be kept in play. A diving desperate effort out there, but it's back-to-back -back boundaries. Even worse goes to the boundary. Very, very high. Another catching chance. Godsell doesn't drop many. And he's caught that one. An excellent catch from one of the very best fielders at this Dream 11 European Cricket Championship. Even though this was high, I thought it was going to fall into that no man's land. But look at Godsell. He's off like a flash and he calls it. Again, the outfielder coming in and takes it. Fantastic piece of work for him and it creates the third wicket. Swung away by Gawley, that's an extraordinary shot. The, the little ramp, look how deep in his crease he is. And he just decides, right. Slow ball. Well met by Bratt. And he's overrun it. Well, this is an uncharacteristic error from this England 11. Full toss into the gap. And despite the desperate dive, it's four more. Slow ball, hit hard by Bratt. Six more. Well, this is a great counter-attack from Sebastian Bratt. Swung away, he likes the slog sweep against the spinners, but for once he's got it wrong, Boris Gawley. And he has to go. In 93 for four, never quite got into his stride today, Boris Gawley. And Alex Russell has his second wicket. And continues that form here. Oh, wow. And almost gets out to one of the catches of the tournament. This is an astonishing set. Well, we thought it was a boundary save, but Andy Rishton very honorably signals six before we can even go to the third umpire. Yes. Well, Andy Rishton himself has signaled that this I is six. So yeah, but he signaled see. it, but he's wrong. He's, okay. he's actually, he's gotten rid of that early. Look, there's a spot here. The ball's left his hand. Really? And Klein sky this up. Should be caught by Lincoln. And it is caught by Lincoln, so an eventful two ball innings for Ryan Klein. He has to depart. In fact, I beg your pardon, it is the skipper, Sebastian Bratt, who has to go. 
So they've lost another one, the Netherlands 11. So England not getting through the overs in time. Full toss from the first ball, the final one, and catch it is the shout from Rishton, but it's gone for six over long on. So adding the five penalty runs. Well, it might be a catch or it might be six. It is caught, well taken on the deep mid-wicket rope. That is a well-judged pouch out there by Tom Bevan. So the Netherlands 11 have finished on 114 for six. Klein out from the very last ball of the innings. A really good tidy over from Rishton. The last over concedes just eight. That's a short ball, not the best delivery. And Ward has hammered that over deep mid-wicket for six. It's not a good start from Dutt. A long hop, it gets punished. Maximum for Ward. Sits deep in his crease, and that is six more. Well, he's not going to be trouble when it's that short, Ward. Likes to get his base ready, sat deep in his crease, ready to pounce. And he does again, so pressure on Dutt here, 6.6. .6. Oh, Ward has absolutely blasted Kingma. Back over his head for six. Well, that is going to give Vivian Kingma some thinking to do. He's found this power position in the last few days, yeah. Ward. And his very first ball's been flicked away. What a shot from Lincoln. Using the pace of Klein, it was in the slot. And that is gorgeously hit by Dan Lincoln, his first six. This is class. Shorter, catching chance. Out! 6-6 six, six out for Dan Lincoln. Straight out to square leg. He can't believe what he's done. Victor Lubbers wasn't going to drop it. 34 for one. Oh, he's been hit very, very, very far. That went almost longer than it did, higher than it did longer, but it went long enough from Harrison Ward, who again is benefiting from sitting so deep in his crease. And Ward's possibly going to get more, possibly going to be out. He's dropped, running back from deep cover. Ryan Klein can't believe it. This one is hammered away. Seis Carreras. Bolle, bolle, bolle. This Down the ground this time. And that's six more. Well, Andy Rishton is Rish Info. He always knows his stats. He'll know what he's on. And it's pretty easy to tally up here. He's got 13 and 12 of them have come off the first two balls of Clayton Floyd's spell. I two here, but instead it's gone for four. Sebastian Bratt into the attack. His first ball short, hit hard. And nothing that Boris Gawley can do out there. Six more to Rishton, his third six from just his sixth ball faced. Again, deep in his crease, and that's a huge hit over mid-wicket. Well, I think we're going to have to start ringing air traffic control at Malaga Airport for some of these sixes from Harrison Ward. That is another big, big one. And again, that is massive from Ward. And right now, the Netherlands 11 have no answer. Down the ground from Richton. And out, taken by Sebastian Bratt. So it is a belated breakthrough. It shouldn't really change the result of this game, given the equation is so heavily in the England 11's favour. But it is a wicket for the talented teenager, Shuiz Ahmed. What a response from Ward. Bang. Extra cover drive. Four runs. 50 up for Harrison Ward of 17 balls. What a knock it's been. He's taken the sword to this Dutch 11. Short. Pulled away. Six for Mella. And that is an emphatic way to see off Vivian Kingma. The Dutch's leader of their bowling attack goes wicketless. Missed out on fourth, of course. Edged by Ward. And he's going to get lucky here. Nothing that poor old Kingma can do. Chasing that one down to the rope at third. Short. And that's going to get the treatment from Ward. You'd expect nothing less of a ball like that. The scores are tied, and it might well be time for one more big six from Ward. He certainly can. That's arguably the biggest six of the lot, right onto the top of the scaffolding. 
And our camera crew don't even have to worry about it because it's gone over their heads as well. An emphatic performance from the England eleven, who have made themselves arguably the team to beat at this tournament now. They win against the Netherlands eleven by eight wickets with 15 balls to spare. A perfect knock to see them through the chase by Harrison Ward. 62 not out and he finishes things off with his eighth six.